질 프라이스의 별명은 인간 달력. 1974년 이후 모든 일들을 빠짐없이 기억한다고 밝혀 세상 사람들을 놀라게 했습니다. 그녀는 책에서 일생이 머릿속의 영화처럼 떠오른다고 고백했습니다. 40여 년 동안의 날씨, 기분 등 경험한 모든 걸 생생히 기억하고 살고 있었습니다. 놀라운 건 특별한 사건만이 아니라 자신의 삶을 세세히 기억한다는 겁니다. 그녀가 처음 자신의 기억력이 남들과 다르다는 걸안건 10살 무렵. 왜 다른 사람은 그녀처럼 지난 일들을 모두 기억하지 못하는지 이상했습니다. 그녀의 머릿속엔 늘 여러 장면들이 보고서를 읽듯이 떠올랐으니까요. 애쓰지 않아도 어느 날 무엇을 입고 먹었는지 그냥 기억이 났죠. 도대체 질 프라이스의 기억력은 어느 정도일까요? Just one word. Can you remember the day of 1982, December 19? December 19, 1982. What you did? Um, it was yes, it was a Sunday, and I had just started a job at. One of our lo at our local supermarket as a box girl, and on Friday, and that Sunday I had gone. I worked, but then I had gone to see six weeks. 그러던 어느 날 그녀는 궁금해졌습니다. I was at work, and um, I decided that I wanted to Google the word memory. And just see if there was anybody out there who had what I had, or who was out there talking about this. And so I put in memory, and up came Dr. McGaw's website. That was the first thing that was on there. So I went home and I wrote him a letter, and it took me like three days, and I emailed him. 모든 것을 기억하는 여자. 그녀는 학기에 보고된 적 없는 희귀 사례였습니다. And we have learned that she has a phenomenal ability to remember the personal experiences of her life, what we call autobiographical memory. She has an autobiography in her head of the experience that she has acquired. And we are able to, to learn that, that not only does she have extraordinary detailed information about her personal life going back to about the age of 11 something like that but she also knows about the public events that occurred on any of those days of her life 그녀의 병명은 과잉 기억 증후군 전문가들은 그 원인을 밝히지 못합니다 I called the doctors because I was tormented by the fact that I was you know, that my memory, I felt, ruled my life. And that I was never able to let go of anything. And I was walking around with so much stuff. 일생을 기억한다는 건 고통이었습니다. 남들처럼 그녀도 잊고 싶었습니다. Um, well, blessing, because I can remember my life. And a curse, because I can remember my life. I mean, if you really think about your life, think about your life. 인생이 남긴 행복하고 힘겨운 순간들. 4년 전 남편의 죽음을 맞이했던 고통스러운 순간은 그녀에게 늘 오늘 일처럼 느껴집니다. 그녀는 괴로운 기억을 잊으며 삶을 치유하는 방법을 알지 못합니다. It, it's, it's, it is. It's, it's a blessing to be able to remember how all that great stuff, but it's a curse to be able to remember all that bad stuff. What you have, 
기억은 간직되기에 소중합니다 하지만 기억을 잊을 수 있기에 우리는 살아갑니다 기억하며 또 잊으며 살아가는 오늘이 당신의 행복한 순간입니다